Dr. Mark Cengizzi here with your Science Moment. Today I'm going to talk about how science works hand in hand with censorship. And let's just make it a little bit about my own research direction. And I'm going to just take one example. And this concerns why we have eyes that face forward rather than sideways like bunny rabbits and, and uh, horses. Now I argued, well prior to what I argued, Historically, people thought that the reason that some of us have forward-facing eyes has something to do with stereoscopy, seeing in three-dimensional, uh, having maybe for predators, and there's a bunch of, uh, of different kinds of arguments in that, in that realm. And I came along and I argued something quite different. I said, no, the reason that we have forward-facing eye, facing eyes is that because for animals that are large with eyes uh, with a sufficiently wide separation in leafy environments, you can actually see more of the environment around you. You get something called probabilistic summation, and it allows you to just see more of the world around you. So you see more by having eyes fit that face forward. And even though you're losing the ability to see behind you, you actually still see more of your habitat. In terms of how science works and how censorship works, once my paper was published and it was shown that the previous hundred years of stuff was wrong, not only was that stuff shown to be wrong, but the way science works, those papers historically that were not about that idea, they were disappeared. They were censored. You couldn't even hear about them. You wouldn't learn about them. They were gone because that's what you want. You want fact checkers to come and say, oh, here's this new thing that was right. So the other stuff just gets disappeared. That's what brings us closer to the truth. And then, of course, some people argue that, hey, Mark Changizi is not right. Here's some arguments that Mark isn't right. And so then for a while, my paper was disappeared and all of the old literature popped back into existence and there was no evidence, no indication that I ever wrote my paper. And again, that's what you want because now, the science decided what was true again. And of course, then I came back too, and so all of that other stuff that disappeared because I, I did a counter argument. That's what we see Twitter and Facebook and YouTube modeling themselves after the science. So that when they've decided what's true, anybody arguing against that is censored, potentially disappeared entirely. And of course, if they find out that in fact, something else, that, that something they were saying was right, like for example, the possibility or the plausibility at least of a lab leak in Wuhan, well, then suddenly some of those people's tweets might reappear and other people's will go away. That's how the science works, folks. That's why Jack at Twitter and YouTube and Facebook are doing what they're doing. They're just modeling themselves after good old the science. And that was your science moment.